Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Danielle, AKA Citerista here on YouTube. And today is Sunday, June 2nd. So I hope you all had a fantastic week. Work-wise, my week was very challenging. Um, I do have the next couple of days off for the 4th of July holiday. So I'm very thankful for that. But let's do a little bit of a rant because it's been a minute since I've done that. So today is June 2nd, June, no. Today is July 2nd. Yesterday was July 1st. Tuesday is the 4th of July holiday. Tuesday, not today, not yesterday, not tomorrow. However, in our neighborhood, people like to light off fireworks for like the week before and the week after. Now, yesterday they lit them off for four hours straight. What? And to say that it is just, I don't even have words. Um, yeah, they were laying them off from like eight o'clock last night until like midnight. I think that's a bit excessive, just saying. Not that you can't light off fireworks, but why not do it on the 4th? Not the 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th, 9th. And I'm guessing these people that are doing this, number one, don't have pets because we haven't had pets in about five years. But when we did, very traumatic. Layla really um, did not like them. Not to mention our military personnel who maybe have like PTSD from being in battle or something. Yeah, I don't think people think of stuff like that. But um, Bill and I switched bedrooms last night because he went to bed at eight o'clock. And, you know, in my room downstairs, you can hear it less. And I was just like, and the heat. We know I really dislike summer. Just, it's really hot. Today is hot. And the air conditioning in my car is broken. Mm-hmm, figured that out yesterday. So. We are taking that into the shop this week, but I went to the grocery store today and decided to go across the street to Starbucks. Now, I never thought I would say this. Today was too hot to get a coffee at Starbucks. Too fucking hot. I don't like iced coffee. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to get a lemonade. So this is one of my favorite things from the week. This is their strawberry acai lemonade. Oh, so good. I should have got a large one. Very cool and refreshing. The line was so long there at Starbucks, though. Everyone else must have had the same idea. I literally sweated through my clothes. So when I came home from the grocery store and unpacked everything, I had to change everything, even undergarments. Like, hot, hot AF outside. Now I'm in the cool house. Okay. Oh, and the little firework rant, by the way. When Charlize was young, like I want to say one, two, my mom and stepdad, they all lived in a townhouse. If you ever lived in a townhouse, they're all stuck together and their back decks are very close. Like you could almost climb to the neighbor behind them. This was before Bill. This was, yeah, this was back in like 2000. Three, four, five. I mean, Charlize was born in 2005, so it had to be later than that. Let's say 2007. Um, it, New Year's Eve, I'm over there. We're watching TV, whatever. Hi, babe, I'm doing my video. Yeah, he's home from work already. Um, we see firework because the, their living room was their deck was right off their living room. We see a firework shoot right across the deck. We look at each other. Then we see one up in the air. Um, my mom had embers on her roof and they were falling on the deck. She wound up calling the police. Um, yeah, no, no, you do not shoot off fireworks when your houses are that close together. That makes no sense, right? You got these little wispy, Okay, so that is the 
let's say, negative part of the video. Let's get into the good stuff, right? All right, movies and TV that I watched this week. So I watched on Hulu the movie called The Apology. What a crazy ride that was. It's about this woman that lives pretty remotely, but she has a neighbor. Janine Garofalo is her neighbor across the street. And um, her daughter went missing 20 years ago and her whole life obviously changed. And it's about that. Oh my, oh my, my, oh my, good holy God. Really good though, quite entertaining. And then I watched um, the first three episodes of the second season on Max of And Just Like That, which is the Sex and the City reboot. I love the show. Um, I like all the characters. Apparently Aiden, if you've watched the original Sex and the City, Aiden is going to be making an appearance. Cannot wait for that. They've been showing previews of it. So, but yeah, I love it. I love the show so much. So that's what I watched this week. Books. And I just realized I need to get my iPad. <laughs> Hold on one second. Okay, I'm back. So books this week. Um, I have read 31 of my 60 book goal for the year. So I am right on track. I'm actually, according to Goodreads, two books ahead. So that's awesome. I finished Wrong Place, Wrong Time by Jillian McAllister. It is the best book I have read this year. It's about time travel. She witnesses her son murdering someone outside of their house one night. And then when she wakes up the next day, it's the day before that. And then when she wakes up, it's the day before that. And on and on and on. <gasps> OMG, when a book makes me talk out loud to myself. It's a good book. I loved it. I absolutely loved it. So highly recommend. And then Kirsten Moglin, you know, is one of my favorite authors. She writes like domestic, you know, thrillers that I like. She came out with a new book uh, a couple days ago and it's on Kindle Unlimited and it's called You Can Trust Me. Now, for some reason, this book is not coming up on Goodreads, so I cannot add it to my currently reading list yet. I've tried twice today. But I'm going to tell you what it's about because when I read the synopsis, I was like, what the actual F? Because Bill and I just went on a cruise. Okay, here's the... For two happy couples, the cruise of a lifetime may cost their lives. May Barlow's annual beach trip is anything but a vacation. It's the anniversary of the worst day of her life. When her husband and best friend surprise her with a last minute itinerary change in the form of a couple's cruise, she struggles to hide her reservations about the new plan. A week spent cruising around in a tropical paradise sounds like a dream come true to everyone else, but for May, it's an eerie reminder of chilling memories from her past. Once on board the ship, a mysterious stranger causes confusion among the group leading them to ask unsettling questions of one another. Before they can get real answers, tragedy strikes. Trapped on the vessel as adventures toward their first destination, the friends struggle to come to grips with their new reality. How do they stay safe when danger seems to be lurking around every corner? Who can be trusted when nothing is quite what it seems? How far will they go to protect the ones they love? Sun, sand, and secrets await on this cruise to die for. And I was like, are you kidding me right now? We just went on a cruise. Let me tell you, you stuck on that ship with those people for, their cruise was five days. We were eight days. I mean, I'm on chapter five and the chapters are somewhat short and each chapter is a person's perspective. Chef's kiss. I love books that are written like that. So I will link that book down below and also the wrong place, wrong time book. Okay. Okay gifts. I received a wonderful gift from my wonderful friend, Becky. Now we both thought this was going to be bigger than it was. And the purpose, watch. <gasps> it's a lamp or a nightlight. Um, it has a couple different settings. It's so very cute. I appreciate, I had this on my wish list and I appreciated her getting this for me so very much. It is so much smaller than we anticipated. So I'm going to probably be putting it on my bookshelf. But 
speaking of lamps. So next, next let's talk, that's the only gift I received this week. But let's talk about purchases. A couple purchases this week. Um, I have been wanting, I know I showed you guys out there, Bill's mom's chair that's been in her family for like a hundred years is out there. I have a little side table and I have my Bible and Becky also, now that was another gift I forgot to show you. She bought me this spiral bound book that leads you through reading the Bible, the whole Bible in 52 weeks. And it has prompts and journaling prompts, which I absolutely love. So that's out there with the Bible because I'm using that as my guide. I sit out there every morning, play my bingo game, have coffee, read the Bible, read my book. I enjoy sitting out there. However, if it's gloomy outside, and it's really early, like 536, which I have sat out there that early before, it's very dark. There is an overhead light out there, but it's on a ceiling fan, and I don't like turning that on. I want a lamp right next to the chair. So I have been on a mission. Bill and I went out to Target yesterday. No, didn't find any lamps. So I'm looking on Amazon, and I was getting discouraged. You know how when you are looking for something and looking for something, you usually don't find it? You find it when you stop looking. So I stopped looking and I went back on Amazon like an hour or two later to look for something else. Oh my God. Oh my mother of God. Wait, do you see the lamp? That I had put on my wish list because it's $175. I was like, ooh, that's pricey, right? I said, well, I'll just ask, I'll just live with whatever I need to do out there until Christmas. Cause that will be, I'll, I'll ask that for Christmas from Bill. However, I'm like, I have to show him because it looks just like the lamp he got me from home shopping network that is in my office on the wall. You know, the stained glass. I have had that lamp. It's been 15 years. He bought that the first year we were together. That is one of my most prized possessions. And so I know this lamp, is also going to be it. And we'll be able to keep this for a really long time. When I saw it, okay, it's $175, excuse me. Look at this. Oh, doesn't it look just like that lamp? It looks so similar. I just took a huge intake of breath when I saw it. So, um, and what's nice is the shade, you can actually adjust it. It will move around a little bit. So I, it's coming Wednesday. I will take you out there when I get it. Can't wait. Can't wait. He was like, so I show him and I said, I had to show you this because it looks so much like the other lamp. And he was like, well, go ahead and buy it. I'm like, really? He's like, yeah, I'm, I'm working part-time, you know? And I was like, all right. So I ordered it because when he tells me yes, I'm not going to go no, uh, no. And that's the kind of person he is, right? Even though he can drive me bananas, like all men can to women. He is so very generous and kind. So I can't wait till that gets here. Got really good reviews. So love, 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 love. Okay. Another purchase. So I have been on the market for a journal that has prompts in it where I can discover more about myself. And I was looking, 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 and I came across a kid's journal, believe it or not, called Big Life Journal. Now they make this for adults, but I love the kid version so much. They have this version and they have another version that has different stuff in it. I have the other one on my wish list. So I'm gonna show you. I will link this down below as well. Um, I'm gonna show you like some of the pages it has in it. And I even dated it. But like this very first one, um, I am uniquely me. It asks you a bunch of questions and it really made me think. Like one of the questions was, if I could build anything, I would build. Stuff that you normally don't think of, right? I wrote a self-cleaning house. <laughs> I mean, the sky's the limit. Use your imagination, right? And um it asks what your greatest strengths are. Now, I've only done one page, but the next one is your brain is your superpower and just all kinds of stuff. Today, I am proud of myself for like, 
even though this is for kids, I love it so much because I feel like this could be for anyone. It doesn't have to be for kids. Highly recommend. Love it so very much. Okay. I also was on the lookout this week for um, a file bin to have on this desk where I can put stuff that I'm going to talk about the following week because I'm only doing one video a week now. So when I get patterns or I get stuff, I can set it in here. And I have to give a huge shout out to Rifle, R-I-F-L-E, like the gun, Rifle Paper Company, because I got this file bin. Can you even right now with that? And it was a little pricey. I want to say it was $20, $16, something like that. But when they shipped it, it came perfectly. They had like an insert in here to protect it. I love it so, so much. And I love all things like flowers and stuff. So huge shout out to them. Love that so very much. Okay. I did get a new putty from Nix's Notions. Um, I check her store periodically for new scents because I'm a collector of those. I love her putty so much. And I was very excited to see this one. First of all, it's gorgeous. It is lavender chamomile. I have not smelled it yet. So first of all, love purple. We know that. It's interesting. It smells more chamomile than lavender. It's very clean. It's very subtle. I just love the little jar. And her putty is my favorite. So, and then she had this rainbow ombre washi tape. Are you kidding me? Yeah. So I bought that. Okay. Patterns. I did get some patterns this week. I haven't really bought too many cross stitch patterns, but I decided to go on to Top Knot Stitcher's store because she is my favorite person besides one, two, three stitch to buy from normally. And I got um, Fox and Rabbit's Tea Time. These are all actually from the Nashville market, I think. I didn't buy anything when Nashville market came out, but then looking later. Now, I don't really drink tea, but I did love this pattern. So. That would look so cute done on paper, wouldn't it? And on like one of my little finishing forms. Hello. Yes. Very, very cute. Got that one. I got Rosewood Manor's Espresso. I love the flowers so much in that. Love that. Heart and Hand, which is one of my favorite designers. This is a honey of a frill. Look at that. Look how friggin' cute that is. Love her. I might even put a little petite bead for her eye. Might give her an eye. Um, this is actually Top Knot Stitcher's release. That was the whole tea thing was um, a bunch of designers got together and designed a pattern for it. She did a top notch cup of tea and it has, and that could be for coffee too. It's on books. Are you kidding me? Gotta do that. And I love that teapot. I love the finishing form that she used, but love that. So got that. And then Ink Circles did tea berry tile, which again could be for coffee because there's a cup in the middle. Love, 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 love. Yes. I am, I'm telling you, my tastes have changed over the years as far as stitching. I have no desire to stitch giant patterns anymore. And I feel like you have to allow yourself to be fluid with what you do with your craft, right? Okay, so my last purchase for patterns, um, Shannon Christine Designs has come out with a Halloween club for this year, and she just came out with, this is the first pattern. It is called Witch's Brew. Dude, love that so much. I love the 3D look of the letters. And when I get a pattern and I'm going to change something, I will usually make a note. I wrote on the pattern already. See these single stitches? I will probably use green AB diamonds and glue them on because I'm going to stitch this on perforated paper and single stitches on perforated paper. It's very hard in my opinion to anchor them properly because if you carry the thread in the back, you will see it. So I will be using AB diamonds and that will give it a little bit of 
bling bling, right? And I also got some 14 count amazing gray paper I'm gonna stitch on. I think that's gonna look really good. Mm -hmm. I might even stitch that um, on the other piece because there's two pieces in here. The ink circles one that I just got on there. I think that'll look really good. So yeah, I'll make little notes on here before I put these away of, so when I go to stitch the pattern, I remember. And the last purchase that I made this week, I have always been looking for something good to organize my cross stitch patterns. I have done it so many different ways over the years. I have had like pen to flex folders and had them in there. I have had them in magazine holders, just all different things in a drawer. And I'm like, I need to figure something else out. And I did. I found this binder on Amazon. So I will link it down below. First of all, there's a paper clip, paper clip. It can be a clipboard on the front. I love that it has this elastic band to hold it closed. So it says, stay positive, work hard, make it happen. I love the rose gold and the glitter. But inside, I have each pattern. I printed out the ones I have PDFs of. I printed out the cover page so I can just flip through and pick a pattern. And these are pockets, so I could put stuff in here even. I was so excited about this. Um, and this will sit up on, get in there. This will sit up on my shelf down here on this desk. You know me, I'm very like particular about wanting to stuff to have its place. You know what I mean? So very excited about that. We'll link that down below. Got lots of stuff to link. Okay. Uh, finishes. I have two finishes. Oh, right? Yeah. So I did finish um, my Be Happy piece. I am waiting for the frame to come in. So when that does, I will frame it and then show you guys. But here, let me. So very cute, right? Um, the little heart buttons that I bought from um, one, two, three stitch worked out perfect. So I thought this turned out so very cute. Absolutely loved this one so, so much. Then I finished my coffee piece. Yes, I did. Now I have fully finished it 95%. <gasps> okay, so this finishing form is from, I wanna say Stitch Etc. or Scarlet House something. If I remember, I bought it from Etsy. I'll link it down below. So my initial thought was just, okay, this is scrapbook paper and I bought coordinating paper. And I'm like, but it needs something up here and down here, right? So I went back on scrapbook.com and looked up this paper and looked up like the extra little stuff they have and they have stuff. So they have like a little vine of flowers. So I'm gonna, I ordered it. I'm gonna put a little vine of flowers up here and down here and then I'm gonna hang it. I think it turned out so, so good. And I realized after I stitched it, of course, these two words here were supposed to be in this color. Oh, well, because I wasn't tearing it out and restitching it. I think it turned out so cute. Absolutely love it. Oh, it went out of focus. Okay, there we go. Yeah, love, 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 love. And I made a new start. So I decided to start working on the other one I had kitted up with Salky. This is um, by Daily Cross Stitch, and it says my favorite drink is the next one. It's this pattern. So stitching on white perforated paper, and I started in the middle, and I got INK done. Um, like I said, work this week was cuckoo crazy, challenging, insane. So I did not get a ton of stitching or diamond painting time, but I did diamond paint. So I'm going to flip you around, show you what I've done. Da, da, da. If you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen a picture, but I got done yesterday, like this whole section. So now I'm on the last 
big chunk of this row. And then I have two more rows and that's it. Doesn't it look so, so good? Love, 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 love. And the mesh roller is chef's kiss. Yeah, makes the diamonds so very nice and neat and straight. Okay, favorite things of the week. Now see, with these videos, doing them once a week, I'm really trying to be consistent as far as the topics I talk about and in what order. So, favorite things of the week. Trader Joe's gummy bear flavored lip balm butter. I am like a lip balm fanatic, always looking for good lip balms. This tastes and smells like gummy bears. I keep this next to my desk. I actually bought mine from Mercari, but I'm sure I don't have a Trader Joe's near me. Um, this is perfection though. Love it. Highly recommend if you like lip balm. Um, I've talked about this before but the Wild Planet Albacore Tuna from Costco. I know I've been saying chef's kiss a lot, but this is the best tuna I have ever had in my whole life. And I simply just put mayonnaise and thyme and rosemary in my tuna. It's so good. Yeah. Um, my Oort container that I got from Hobby Lobby many, it's been a couple months. This is actually, a pen or pencil holder that you could use for your desk. I love the glitter in the bottom. Are you kidding me right now? But yeah, I put my orts in it. So I have this little bit that I have in there. And what I do is I empty it at the end of a project. So I had just emptied it because I finished the coffee piece and it was like filled up to here because if I have to put a new floss skein on a bobbin, I will put the paper in there. Um, yeah, love this so much. This is probably my favorite Oort container that I've ever had, and I've had quite a bit. And then the last favorite thing of this week, Crock-Pot liners. You know you are an adult, and you get excited about a Crock-Pot liner. <laughs> These are plastic, and you can see they fit in your Crock-Pot. Bill worked over time last Wednesday until 8 p.m. So I had dinner on my own. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to make my Thai curry chicken in the crock pot because he doesn't like it. And I went, you know what? I'm going to try these. Oh, are you kidding me right now? It was such easy cleanup because all you do is you scoop out the liner, throw it in the trash and put the crock pot in the cabinet. No having to put the inside of the crock pot in the dishwasher. Love. Amazon. Amazon. Yeah. All right. So the last thing I want to talk about is my gratitude list for this week. So I also throughout the week make notes of things I'm absolutely grateful for when they come up. So number one is uh, my friend Dina. Not only has she um, completed some diamond paintings for me that now hang proudly in my home, she has sent me a ton of items for the bingo game. And so I'm very appreciative of that. Dina, thank you so very much. Um, all of the personal and amazing friendships that I have developed from having the channel. When I think about all of the people that I would not know and all of the experiences I would not have had from having this channel, it's amazing the friendships that I have developed having this channel. And I'm so very grateful for each and every one of you guys. Uh, I wrote down Bill always making me laugh every day. He does something. He does one thing that makes me like really belly laugh. And it's so important to be able to laugh with your partner. I feel like, and it is one of my favorite things about him. Um, this craft room last night, I diamond painted and you know, at, at some times you just, you have just a feeling of peace and contentment come over you. And I wish I could just bottle it for when I'm not feeling like that. But last night, I just felt like that so much. I absolutely love this room so, so much. And I'm just so grateful to um, have been able to turn this room into what it is right now. Uh, my time in the evening to stitch and reflect. So when I stitch in the evening after Bill goes to bed, I stitch in my office in my chair. 
I will have my iPad on the arm of the chair. I'll watch a show. And it's usually pretty late. You know, it's eight, nine, 10 o'clock. No one's normally emailing me wanting something. It is such a wonderful time that I just have to myself because, you know, in life, even though you have family and friends, you have to show up for yourself and be your own cheerleader. You really, really do. Um, and there are so many moments when I'm sitting there in that chair stitching that I am just thankful. I am just thankful that I am able to stitch, that I love to stitch so much that I have that craft. Yeah. And then the last thing is retreats. So I have the Stitch New Jersey retreat coming up in two weeks, it's actually less than two weeks. It was two weeks from this past Thursday. And when I stopped and really thought about it, because I'm not taking the big suitcase, I'm packing very light. I just, I just want, and I'm bringing two small projects and it, it hit me. It hit me like a bolt of lightning. Retreats are not about the stitching. It's about the people. It's about the dinners out, getting a coffee, um, talking about faith, love, books, movies, because for a lot of people, very little stitching gets done. It's about the experience. It's also about enjoying the hotel room because love that. Love, you know, big bed, TV, all of that relaxing. Um, because in all honesty, when I really stop and think about it, I do my best stitching at home comfy clothes, good lighting, all my snacks and treats, um, my home comforts. So yeah, it is not about the stitching at all at these retreats. Um, so if you ever have the chance to go to one, again, highly recommend. Okay. Oh, I forgot. So another favorite of the week. Oh, and I'm also grateful. Another grateful thing. Um, my sister, Charlize. So she called me last yesterday. We talked for like 40 minutes. As she gets older and we continue to have a relationship, I'm very thankful that she calls and just talks. And I want to always be involved in her life. You know what I mean? And then um, yesterday when Bill and I were out, he was like, do you want to stop and get a snowball? And I said, you know what? Let's stop at 7-Eleven so I can get a Slurpee. And uh, they had hibiscus or hibiscus lemonade Slurpee. <gasps> yes, indeedy. If you have the chance to get one, I would highly recommend it. How many times have I said that in this video? I recommend everything I've talked about. But yeah, that was another favorite thing of the week. Hibiscus lemonade Slurpee. And then this too. Yeah, we know that. I'm telling you, Bill and I go out later. because I think we are. I might have him stop and I'm going to get a large one. I love the cup with the lip on it. Yeah. Okay. That's all I have. I hope you guys had a great week. I hope you have a very good week coming up. Be safe on this 4th of July holiday. Um, today's Sunday. I have off Monday and Tuesday. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so grateful. And uh, we're going to go over my dad's on the 4th. We actually are celebrating Bill and I's birthdays over there because we were supposed to celebrate our birthday when we came back from the cruise and then Bill had the flu. So that didn't happen. I'm trying to get together with my dad. You know, it's, it's not always easy. His schedule is very busy and so is ours. Everyone's busy. So yes, we are going over there on Tuesday. So that's going to be really good to see them. So like I said, if you're celebrating the holiday. Please be safe. Enjoy. Have a good week. I will see you next Sunday. As always, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below and I will answer them to the best of my ability. Thank you so much for watching and subscribing and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.